is happening, Magnus Sites. So, for those of you that have been with me for a long time, remember, it's, it's 11 years, going on 12, 12 years now as a YouTuber, um, I don't delete videos. It's very, very rare that I delete videos. I mean, private stuff or, you know, whatever, uh, maybe, you know, when YouTube is going through their crazy taking down videos stuff, you know, you know, but I don't take them down. You know, I say what I say. I mean what I mean. Sometimes I'll clarify certain things. Sometimes I won't. You know what I mean? If I feel I need to, I won't. But one video that I did take down was a video where I was trying to figure out. So you people, there's down a chance to be far from it. I was actually trying to figure out. I was like, okay, how can we let trans women compete with biological women? And I was like, trying to figure out in this video. And so many people in the comments was like, nah. Because, yo, this, you know, lung capacity, wingspan, all these other things that are permanent. There's no way they would still always have an advantage. And I was like, man. Well, there goes my ideas. I was trying. I was trying to, to, to see because I was I was along the lines of thinking, okay, maybe if they were on hormones for say I don't know what you know it, a study would have to be done, but say five years is what it takes after you're a grown man for you to be on female hormones for it to basically drop all your bone density and your tensile strength of your muscles and tendons and Lung capacity. I like all these other things. That's what I was thinking along the lines of. I was thinking, well, you can't just... I'm a woman. And then, okay. No, no. You would have to be on them five, ten plus years or something like that. But from what I'm hearing... Yeah, and this was... I don't know, last year I might have put out this video, video before. I mean, year before. And I was just like... Nah, it's not going to work. They absolutely... And in the video, I did speak of this... They need a league of their own. No pun intended. It's, I spoke of when I was running track. Sometimes you wouldn't have a particular place for somebody to run in. A particular what we call heats. So you sometimes you'll see people run 100 meter, but you'll see a couple of different 100 meter races. That'd be the first heat, the second heat, third heat. So I was thinking, okay, you don't want them to compete with the women you're going to have them run in their own heat. Or if you do have them run against the women or swim against the women, you would, even if they won, they would place first for the trans female. However, the biological female comes in second. She is placing first for biological females. Get it? So we keep it fair. However, there's other situations where that wouldn't, you know, uh, like boxing or wrestling or something like that. That's when I would say definitely you can only compete against a woman that signs off on the diet line that says she doesn't care. Or you would compete against um, other trans athletes. That's just how it has to be because it would just be unfair. Um, so, which brings me to this. Uh, Leah Thomas was banned from competing against women as swimming cracks down on transgender athletes. That's what it says here. So, um, I personally think that this uh, is fair because so many, and, and it needs to be done in running and anything else where I, I don't say, I don't even think they need to be banned. I just think that depending on what it is, you have a particular trans category if you insist on competing. Because in, certain, in a lot of situations, they're taking these, um, uh, taking these wins, this money, these uh, placings, these world records, um, these scholarships, all away from women that were born women. And you come in with these male advantages that still have not left your body after taking the hormones and you're crushing them clearly crushing them showing that there is something 
that is amiss here. So, uh, I personally, personally, myself, wouldn't have banned Leah Thomas. I personally would just have said, listen, you have to run your own race. Okay, run your own race. It's a separate category for trans women. There you go. You're the trans champion. All right, boom. But, you know, um, uh, I mean, there's been a lot of uh, drama over this. And I've seen the women coming out. Yo, listen, what's funny? <laughs> Y'all the ones that got me doing it. Uh, the past couple of years, specifically, I watch a lot of news programs now. A lot. I watch a lot of different news programs. <laughs> and I watch them all, man. Everyone, you know, from CBS, NBC, CNN, you know, all the, you know, the, the, you know, the, to the, you know, stuff like valuetainment, um, and, uh, you know, uh, Daily Wire, and, you know, uh, just so many different, you know, as for Young Turks, and I just watch everybody, because I always kind of want to hear what people are saying, because both sides have points in particular situations. Um, uh, people watch me, and uh, people that have been watching me for years, I remember when I first started to watch some political stuff, they'd be like, yeah, we've been watching you, you know, uh, you're pretty much in the center, but you probably lean conservative. And um, I would probably, yeah, I, would, I could say that, you know, once I started to see stuff, I'm like, yeah, I lean conservative because I'm a conservative guy, you know, a lot of this stuff to me is just way out there. Some of the stuff on the left is just like, whew. but then some of the stuff on the left, I agree with. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I had a conversation with someone who's not a friend anymore, but they, him and his wife were definitely deep left. And um, they, they were like, had all the talking points. Like, it was like, like, do you believe in climate change? I was like, what the hell? I was like, is this a, li a religious meeting? What, what, what's going on here? <laughs> and uh, I was like, yeah, I, I do. Th and they're like, oh, and I said, but, and then there's like, but I don't know if men are causing it. I don't know if the earth is just going through natural cycles or it could be both. You know what I mean? And if the earth, the earth is going through natural cycles by itself, ain't nothing we can do about it. But if we're part of the problem, if it indeed is a problem, I mean, things can be spun to be a problem or not a problem or somewhere in the middle, depending on how you're talking about it. If you pay attention, things can be spun a lot of different ways. So I'm always thinking, I always try to critically think and, you know, make the right decisions. But, um, yeah, so there was that and uh, asked me about the book. And, you know, just other stuff. And I was just like, wow, they totally drank the left Kool-Aid. Wow. You know, and, you know, me, I'm just a guy using my humanity, my human barometer gauge, my humanity gauge to just gauge things. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, yeah, so they have banned Leah Thomas. British sports governing bodies are under mounting pressure to reform their policies after world swimming ban transgender athletes who reached male puberty from elite women's events. So, it sounds like they haven't banned people that if you have, haven't have gone through puberty and you started getting stuff at puberty, then you're not banned. Because I've seen some trans women that I didn't know were trans women and they actually transitioned very early, which is a huge uh, hot button these days. It's, you know, you bring the children in, it's, you know. But anyway, moving forward, we can talk about that in another video. In a seismic move for Olympic sport, uh, which will mean that American swimmer Aaliyah Thomas can no longer compete in elite races, swimming rulemakers announced that transgender women must now establish that they have not experienced any part of male puberty. Well, there it is. FINA, World Swimming Governing Body, 
also announced plans to establish a new open category of competition to include transgender women that, according to President uh, Hussein Al, I can't pronounce that, would involve some of our biggest events. I also announced a plan to establish new open category. Okay, so they, they are giving it their own, I guess it sounds like they're going to get their own category in a way. Transgender men can still compete in male swimming category, and a working group will report back within six months on how a new open category would work for women who transitioned after puberty. The move was immediately endorsed by the British government, uh, which wants domestic sports governing bodies to collectively form new policies. Well, I tell you this, they got to start doing it in high schools, in college, and everything so that um, um, these um, women that are born women aren't having their, um, you know, their scholarships snatched, their opportunities snatched, their placings snatched from them. British Cycling has suspended its domestic transgender inclusion policy pending a review and British Swimming must now decide whether to follow the rules that FINA has outlined for international competition. That is the right and sensible decision to make, said Nadine Doris. The culture secretary fairness must always take precedent over inclusion and should be unequivocal. Also, important that trans women are able to compete in own class. This is the solution. Um, they said that swimming's new policy was based on real science. There is confidence it will prove robust against any legal challenge in being necessary and proportionate uh, to achieve a legitimate objective. Our athletes must come first, he said. Of course, I understand why transgender uh, athletes would like to compete in a category of their choice. However, I have an obligation to every single one of our athletes. And that makes sense. Uh, equality is also a key principle for us. This is why we are faced with such a delicate balancing act. We have to protect competitive fairness and also the past records and achievements. Yeah, everybody just can't compete together. They have the Special Olympics, correct? They do not compete with the regular Olympics, correct? They don't. You know what I'm saying? Um, it just it wouldn't be fair to them, correct? So it's like, what? Why? It, like it, it doesn't make sense to me why they tried pushing stuff like that. Although the policy could have been passed by FINA's Executive Bureau endorsement was sought from national governing bodies at an extraordinarily general congress in Budapest. More than 70% of the governing bodies agreed, with 15.3% against uh, and 131 against to abstain. Individual countries could still implement their own transgender policy for domestic competition with the International Olympic Committee ruling last year that individual sports must establish their own frameworks. See, because, see, w what I'm thinking is that I know how people think. People don't want the transgender athletes uh, competing at all. They, they don't want them, like, around nothing. But I'm saying, what I'm saying is, if they really press in this and moving this forward, and this really will be a part of our lives... Just give them a league by themselves. Have them their own section where they compete against themselves. Or if it's, like I said, at the least if it's something where people are running races, yeah, the trans woman might come in first, but they really only come in first for the trans category. The woman the woman that's born a woman comes in um, second place. She really placed first for women. Get it? Make sense? All right. So, uh, yeah, I think I've, I've rambled long enough. The, 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 uh, the uh, well, let me see something here. I think they allow transgender women to compete if they have gone through puberty, provided their testosterone has been suppressed to below 2.5. I forgot what that is. Uh, was that deciliters or something? Uh, for at least two years. Hold on. 
The International Cycling Union announced a new policy on Thursday opting to allow transgender women to compete if they have gone through puberty, provided their testosterone has been suppressed to below 2.5, I guess that's deciliters, uh, for at least two years. That would potentially mean Welsh cyclist Emily Bridges could still compete in women's events at the Paris Olympics. Now, see, that one's different right there. Two years. From what I understand, two years ain't ish. Two years don't do nothing, even if you have been through puberty. The UCI and British Cycling had allowed transgender riders to compete if their testosterone was continuously below, uh, I don't know, five deciliters uh, uh, for a year. But Bridges, and I'm only saying that because I've heard guys that talk about blood and stuff say that, was barred shortly before the National Track Championships, despite being meeting those rules. Bridges is adamant that her tests prove that uh, she would have no advantage in the race against women while Thomas said she transitions to be my true self and that there was no threat to women's sports. That's false, man. Two years ain't enough. Man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this. I think it was fair to ban Leah Thomas. Um, I would have just, like I said, uh, you get to compete, but you don't compete against the women. You compete, you have your own category, that's it. There's no more taking these placings, the money, the scholarships, all that stuff from women born women. Can't do that. That's how I would always had it. I don't know why they did that. I feel as though, I'm serious, I've told y'all this before. I think they did it as some big old social experiment just to see what people would say, just to see what people would do, just to see how people would react. And and in their social experiment, they have probably destroyed certain women that were born women. They've destroyed their, um, they may have destroyed their lives or college careers or professional careers in certain instances. Because they have trans women that have beat them when they may have needed a certain placing. Like, I mean, it's, it's, it's unfair. Post comments down below. Let me know what you think. 10 million subscribers will.